everybody welcome back to my channel i'm anna your host and my channel name is only my dreams i'm trying to pull you back a little bit more so you could see my house a little bit better so this is the house that i've been talking about for a while that i am in the midst of trying to redo this is what you would consider a buttercup i bought this used at a thrift store i'm just giving it a quick wipe down um, I bought it used at a thrift store. Um, you could tell they had, you know, all this was like this when I got it. You see, it was it was in very, very bad disrepair. But um, I saw that I could do something with it. So my original thought was to start doing a Halloween theme. Then I just wasn't feeling it. I stopped. I put the I put the project on the side. I just wasn't feeling it for whatever reason. My whole Halloween theme house. I just, I just didn't want to do it anymore. So now I have a whole new theme that I want to do. So I'm in the midst of stripping the walls. Now I'm going to show you what my dilemma is. As you can tell, I have painted the the basic stuff pretty dark. And this was going to be a, a wall of like mirrors. So that's why that's on there. But I don't know if I'll just put something over it. So I'm not even going to mess with X. It's nice and flat. Um, but I'm going to show you what my dilemma is right now. Okay. You got a pretty good view of it now. This is my dilemma. When I started to strip these walls, I found that there was about seven layers, if not maybe eight of things on top of each other and I got very frustrated uh, two and a half hours into it I just stopped I couldn't do it anymore I got angry <laughs> I had to walk away and I didn't look back so um, I think I'm gonna try to continue to strip it I did get some more sanding um, items I gotta find my sanding paper I bought the sanding paper from the Dollar Tree um i bought these from the dollar tree to help me break it down and um my main concern is not up here is this room and this room and these walls around here where you see the hodgepodge and what happens is they used just probably regular old school glue or whatever kind of glue that they had and it left chunks literally chunks so this is not a nice defined flat wall by any means Whew, you guys this is gonna be a lot of work so this is what i'm gonna be working on i'm gonna start trying to chop away at this and i'm gonna bring you right back okay so i'm gonna see what i can try to do with keeping you guys in view a little bit i don't know how much i'm gonna be able to get done hear my children playing and calling for me <laughs> hold on okay and you know daddy's supposed to be over there watching him but daddy is on his phone watching car racing videos and of course they call mommy and they get upset my daughter went to the Kennedy Center to go see cats with grandma and the only other two granddaughters. So. We were supposed to have gone to the boat today, but she took my car and they had the car seats in it. So we're kind of all stuck here. I mean, my husband literally could go, but he decided to stay home and rest. That's a whole lot better on that side. 
that's a whole lot better. Um, let me see if I can clean it up a little bit. Now, normally what I do is I'll leave some face wipes on the parts that I want to start peeling to get it a little moist. And that's what I'm going to have to do for this back part, especially this very intricate space for the back part. That's not too bad. That's a whole lot better than it was before. I tell you that much. A whole lot better. Uh, now I really need just to moisten up these other walls. Okay, so I hope you guys can see this. I just put some a little bit more watered down type of um, face wipes just to get this moist to help me pull this stuff up. Now this middle part here, it's not going to be an issue. I'll be able to wallpaper over this center piece. Not a problem. It's a center piece. Not a whole lot of people will see any lumps and bumps. And it's fairly smooth. Um, so that's not going to be a problem. But I do have to do this top piece, if you guys can see it. I don't even know if you guys can see that or not, honestly. The way that I have this, um, the way that I have this going. I just want to get that a little moist. Let that get a little wet, and I'm going to try to pull up a little bit more with you guys. And then I'm going to have to work on this side. All these are going to be just fine. I'll be able to work with everything that's up here. Not a problem, like I said before. But these two rooms, man, these are the ones that are just giving me the blues, honey. It's just giving me the blues. Oh, my gosh. It is terrible. That's why some people are like, I'd rather just start off fresh, get me a nice, nice house with no problems and jump right in. That's why some people don't like to deal with problem um, or broken furniture, dollhouse miniature furniture, because they just don't have the patience for it. And I completely, I completely and totally understand beyond anything else, because I'm telling you guys, it's crazy. See, now when it gets moist, it's a little bit easier to pull up, as you can tell. It's it's coming up. Some of the wood's coming up, and that's when I will obviously use um, my sander and sand it down to make it flat. It's coming out nicely while it's damp. Whatever doesn't come up nicely, I'm going to have to let it get a little bit more wet. And let me try to get this paper out out of the way. If I can. There we go. God only knows what all this stuff was. And you guys, I peeled back so many layers. You guys just have no clue how many layers I have peeled away from this house. It was insane. So just think about that when you find a dollhouse at a thrift store. Think about the amount of work that you're going to have to put into it and think about if you're willing to do it, honestly. Because if you just don't have the patience or the time, you're going to be like, why in the world did I get into this? Why? Am I, am I, am I into self-torture? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to continue. Okay, so I'm picking up the other wipe. And I'm going to see what I can try to do with you guys here. It's a very weird angle that I'm working at, but this is the only way for you guys to be able to see it. Okay. And I kind of want to pull it away and get it out of my way if I can, just so I don't dig too much into the wood. Just trying to get that top layer off. And um, I already picked out some wallpaper that I want to work with that I shared before from miniatures.com. I do have some wallpaper in my stash from, from forever ago, but it wasn't anything that I wanted to use for this particular project for my vision because I definitely have a clear vision with this one, a very clear vision of how I want this to look. Now, if I'm going to be able to get it to look that way, I don't know. But I'm certainly going to try. I am certainly going to try. If 
but um, I'm looking forward to trying to do the roof with that really cool roofing that I shared with you guys before that I got from the thrift store. Um, that roofing material that I was going to use. Oh, this stuff is so sticky. Ooh, that's sticky. Like it's even getting stuck on my fingers. Look at this. That's really sticky. I think I'm going to have to make it a little bit more moist possibly. I'll try to work with it a little bit more. But it's coming along now that I've got the major layers off, right? I'm like down to the last layers. And uh, feels good getting it done. And my arms are definitely getting a workout, as you can tell. They're definitely getting a workout. There we go. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be adding crown molding and all that stuff. It just, it's really going to depend on what I want to do, what I want to end up doing with it. Let me see if I can pan you down a little bit more. There we go. Um, yeah, I think I definitely need to get this one a little bit more moist. Let me put them, get these wet one more time. I got some water here. I just try to get my wipey good and wet and I'll put it right back in there. These are just the face wipes from Dollar Tree. Um, then of course, before I do anything else, I, I make sure that the house sits for a day or two, dries up very nicely. Everything's going to be culture. You want to make sure that whatever you, whatever you're working on, um, it's the way it needs to be as far as being dry, not wet, not warped. Or anything like that. Let me see. So, um, yeah, but I've been doing this, you guys, for a very long time. I was really more of a buyer than anything else. I'm going to, this is a lot of the stuff I just pulled out with you guys right now. If you guys can see that. This little trash bag here. Um, I was never much of a builder, a creator. I liked to buy and use the things that I bought to create. But now, since I am doing my own thing, I don't have a full-time job the way I used to. Having a nice full-time job with a good amount of money coming in. Nice paycheck every two weeks. I don't have that anymore. It's, it's what I make. So, uh, I'm leaning towards creating more now. Okay, so this has gotten pretty moist. Let me pull it out. And as you can tell, look at all that glue. Can you guys see all that glue? That's what I'm going to have to work with trying to remove all that glue. But as you can tell, now that I made it more moist, it's coming up a lot more easier. Okay. There we go. It's coming up a lot more easier. I'm going to have to sand down all this glue. All this crazy glue. There we go. Well, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stop here because you guys might be getting bored watching me struggle. And I'm gonna continue here, and then I'll come back and talk to you guys again with some updates. Thanks for coming by to visit. Bye.